everyone, welcome back. It is my favorite time of the week, a little Wednesday pick-me-up that I like to call Maddie's shot of serotonin. Okay, this week, Jeremy, I went for a retro sitcom intro theme, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, so this first clip, I hope you enjoy. Let's see if you know it. Okay. Let's roll it. Come and knock on our door. Come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. Where the kisses are hers and hers and his. Three's company too. Come and dance on our floor. Come and dance on our floor. Take a step that is new. I'll take a step that is new. We've a lovable space that needs your face. Three's company too. You'll see that life is a ball again. Laughter is calling for you. Down in our rendezvous. Down in our rendezvous. Three is company two. Three is company two. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was pretty. <laughs> have you easy. ever watched that show? I have actually. Okay. Thank you very I was much. Just double checking. John Ritter is one of my favorites. Rest in peace. Um, also, um, Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams. Williams. She passed away last year, right? Cindy Williams. I think, yes. Did? Mm -hmm. So rest in peace, everyone. But I uh, love that show. I think I told you this before I even started working here, but um, there was one Thanksgiving, my dad and stepmom came out to California and it was just the three of us. And I was like, this is like three's company. <laughs> and so it just stuck forever and ever. So whenever they see this today, they're gonna go, oh no, it's stuck in my head. Three's company. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, definitely get a kick out of that. This next one, um, I, I incorporated this into my sister's wedding. Oh. So let's okay. take a look at this clip. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Laminate, Shalim, Shalmazel, Papa Zephyr Incorporated. These are so easy for you. Give us any chance, we'll take it. Give us any rule, we'll break it. We're gonna make our dreams come true. Do it our way. Nothing's gonna turn us back now. And on the track now. We're gonna make our dreams come true. Doing it our way. I love the okay. Had theme songs. Right. You know? I know, it's so great. It's almost like a mini movie. I also just realized but, I said Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams for Three's Company. No. Dan Summers. So yeah, and Joyce DeWitt. And Joyce DeWitt. Yes. There we go. Sorry. No, I, I got you, though. I'm you right got here. me. Everyone at I home is probably you. you're wrong. I, I was already on to the next one and thinking about Three's Company. So, no worries. my apologies. So, yes, I incorporated this because I feel like my sister Allie and I are very much like Laverne and Shirley. She's Laverne. I'm Shirley. We kind of balance each other out. We'll fight. We'll squabble, but we're best friends at there the end go. of the day, so. There you go. Yes, I okay. Like this final one, Jeremy, I think is gonna be a little tough for you. I think it's gonna actually be really tough for you to figure out. Um, I tried to stump you, so. Oh, oh. I know, mm, I know, okay. everyone. Good luck. Let me look. Good luck. <gasps> Thank you for being a friend. Gotcha. I mean, hello. Famous Travel favorite. Your heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant. One, two, three. And if you threw a party, invited everyone you knew. Guys, if you're just tuning in, yes, and you think it's the Golden Girls, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It is not. You. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Because I'd be like, ooh, Golden I know, Girls. I'd be like, yes, I'm going to watch this. They're like, no. <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. So, fun All little fun little secret um, that you probably already know maybe about Jeremy because I feel like G Golden Girls I have been it. incorporated a lot. A lot in this show. Um, it's one of my favorite shows as well. Um, became obsessed with it after a girl my freshman year of college was watching it and I was like, who are these old ladies? And then I'm like, how have I been missing and sleeping on this show forever? So, hopefully and that I brought did. a little bit of joy it to did. you. It does. I love TV when they actually had theme songs. I know, right? But fun fact, it's so strange to go back in time to look at how old those characters were on the show uh -huh. and what now our definition of age is because they were supposed to be in their 50s. I know, which I thought was so insane. I'm like, I've not met a 50-year-old that... You know? Yeah, I mean, I'm saying people have really started changing the way they look. Like, yes. You know what they say, 50 is the new 40, 60 yeah. is the new 50. Absolutely. It's so true, by the way. Absolutely. So hopefully at home, besides my little mess up with the Three's Company cast, I apologize again, that brought a little bit of a light, bright to your, your Wednesday with a shot of serotonin. So um, any ideas for next week? Let me know. Okay.
So. Uh, fun fact too, I just want to call out the amazing Suzanne Summers from this yes. company because she was one of the first women to demand, try to demand equal pay and she was denied and she was cut from the show because she wanted to be paid equally with John Ritter. Yes. And the network said no and guess what they did? They basically fired her, exited her off the show and did it in a really humiliating way. Oh, so, they did? Yeah, okay. they did. I remember kind of reading something about that and didn't her husband suggest, like he was her also helping her? Is her manager. Is her manager, that's right. And then did, she just shot to stardom though. She, she was yes. Suzanne Summers. She was the breakout star. I think she did the first Four seasons altogether. She was in a few episodes of season five when the salary dispute was happening. Uh -huh. And she wanted equal pay. It caused a huge rift between Suzanne Summers and then John Ritter and Joyce DeWitt were over here. Yep. Huge rift and fight over the years. Oh, wow. It, it just is like, I respect her for standing up for women. For sure. And knowing what she's worth. Exactly. But in the early 80s, I guess. Early 80s, not... yeah, because that was in the 70s into the yes. 80s. So. so by the time that happened, I was like, you know, and she doesn't regret it. And she famously had a sit down interview with Joyce DeWitt where they made up. Okay. Which is good. Uh huh. You gotta put the past, you know, put the past in the past, you know, move on. Past in the past. And um, yeah, very interesting. Uh, Three's Company slowly crumbled to Two's Company. <laughs> yes. And then they brought in uh, Priscilla Barnes to play Terry, which was amazing. They did good. Again, Here's here's the thing too. I never watched the show originally, but uh -huh. it was on reruns. Reruns. That's when but I watched all of them. My parents wouldn't let me watch it because they said that's inappropriate. Oh really? Yes. Be my parents were very kind of strict. Well, wasn't but wasn't the landlord always trying to catch him? Wasn't that Don Knotts? There was always like this innuendo that something was going on, but it really was nothing. It was nothing, and they got caught in weird compromising situations. And yeah, I remember Don Knotts being like, "Hey, I told you not to do that." And it's a classic good show and just yes. super duper fun. Jolly I like to good watch fun it on reruns on the weekends, just you know. Oh well, yeah, on I used to watch Nick at Night t uh, TV Land, all that I stuff. Love it. When I was hey going. guys, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're catching up with Michael Babcock at TMZ for today's hottest Hollywood stories. We'll be right back. Maybe some drama happening.